Hey everybody, my name is Michael Rosso. I'm the host of the Internet Radio Show, the Film Photography Podcast. The Internet Radio Show for people who love to shoot film. I love to shoot film. I love to shoot instant film. I love to shoot Polaroid. I love Polaroid cameras. And if you're watching this, you probably do too. But how can you test your Polaroid camera before you buy it? Firstly, let's say you're talking about Polaroid automatic land cameras. These cameras are amazingly popular here in the United States because millions were sold between the years 1963 up until the mid-1970s. Millions. And thousands of these are on eBay every single day. But almost every seller on eBay says, shutter fires, camera appears to be operational, because they're doing this. They're cocking the shutter and doing this. So the seller thinks, oh, look at that. The camera actually works. But in fact, this camera is not operational because the seller did not look in the battery compartment to notice that the battery compartment is completely corroded out. So even though the seller on eBay says this camera is functional and the shutter fires. In fact, it's making a clicking sound, but the shutter's not opening and closing because the camera's not getting power. And this camera must have power in order for the shutter to fire. So you can take this battery out. You can take some white vinegar and try to clean the, uh, the, the leads. And you'll have to buy a fresh battery and put it in there. Always try to buy from a seller who offers a money-back guarantee. Try not to get stuck at one of these. Let's say you like the Polaroid one-step type camera, this type of camera, which comes in many different varieties that uses either 600 film like this camera or SX70 film. Let's say you're at a flea market or even eBay and you once again want to know if the camera works. Well, with this camera, because there are no batteries in this camera, the batteries are actually in the film packs. This is what a film cartridge looks like once your pictures are all done being ejected. And what I do is I take some, some Polaroid shots that I shot and I put them carefully underneath. I put them back into the cartridge. There it goes. And I put the black card back in. See, now I have a pack of film. So I go up to the person selling the camera and I'm like, excuse me, miss. Excuse me, sir, do you mind if I test the camera? And I pop open the bottom, which I did here, the lever right here on these cameras. They're all the same. I pop in this cartridge of film, knowing that the battery's good. Oh, look at that. My green light is on on the back of my Polaroid one-step camera. And now I'm ready to test the camera for real. I would say that this camera works and that this is a good bet for the two or five dollars that you are going to spend on it. Make sure that the seller doesn't want to jack the price up on you just because you know it now works. If you do not have an empty film cartridge, as most of you out there do not have, you will have to invest in a new pack of film and carry it with you. Or Put a new pack of film in a camera you just bought on eBay, hopefully from a seller that offers you a 14-day money-back guarantee. And think of it as an investment. Think of it as you're going to get yourself involved in shooting Polaroid photography. So if this camera doesn't work, you'll go on to another camera. So you take your film, put it in the camera. If the camera is a bum, send it back. Eject your film in the, in the dark or even in light. You may have sacrificed your first shot. You put the black card back in, and now you're ready to test the next camera. As I said, my name is Michael Rosso. I host the Film Photography Podcast. You can contact me at podcast at filmphotographyproject.com. I highly encourage you to visit our website, filmphotographyproject.com. Did you know that we have an online store where we actually sell Impossible Project film? We actually sell vintage, tested Polaroid cameras, cameras that come with a guarantee that are tested by me. That's right. Please do visit us and please do listen to our podcast, the Film Photography Podcast, that I host with John Fidelli and Matt Marash. 
And until next time, happy shooting.